Hi, I'm Mike Matson, and uh, I'm a magician. I've been doing magic for about 20 years. Started when I was 16 in southern New Jersey, and now I'm here in beautiful Orlando, Florida, where I work and perform every day doing things that are magical. Actually, my introduction to magic is kind of a dark one. My father was diagnosed with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma when I was five years old. So magic was pretty much my escape from what was happening around me uh, with my father's illness. And I learned uh, a lot of my magic from the library. I went to my local library, picked up a lot of books. I wasn't very good at sports when I was younger, so magic was the default for me. Uh, and I just learned more and more from books and then more from friends, videos. Uh, and as I progressed, I started working in different magic shops. I've been working in magic shops since I was 16, and I've worked uh, everywhere. In New York City, I was um, a magic demonstrator and a manager for Marvin's Magic and Phantasma Magic and the world's largest Toys R Us in Times Square. So that was a lot of fun, big Ferris wheel, lots of cool uh, people coming through Toys R Us all the time. Uh, and now I'm here in Orlando, uh, where I work for uh, Theater Magic, and I help out a lot of other magic shops and perform uh, all around uh, Central Park. Oh, my inspirations. My two main inspirations in magic are two guys that most people have never heard of. Magicians are familiar with them, but most people have never heard of these two guys. Look them up on YouTube. Look them up online. It's David Williamson and David Regal. David Regal is actually uh, more of a writer in uh, Los Angeles, and he actually uh, had a lot to do with the Rugrats TV series and the uh, Ah Real Monsters TV series on Nickelodeon. Uh, so he's a fantastic performer. David Williamson is brilliantly funny and one of the uh, world's top sleight of hand artists, so definitely check them out. Magic is very much uh, like poetry because, in my view, they both have a structure. Uh, whether, especially with poems uh, such as um, such as E. E. Cummings, uh, Buffalo Bill's Defunct, has a certain structure to it. Haiku has a very specific structure to it. A lot of magic has a very specific structure you have to follow to achieve the, the desired effect. Uh, so the structure really plays a, a very cool part in both of them. And what's interesting is that both of them are pieces of art and they're trying to convey something from the artist, whether that be an idea or a feeling or a message. Uh, in poetry, more so it's a feeling. I think it was Maya Angelou who had a great piece of poetry or a great uh, phrase that was something like, people won't remember who you are or what you did, but they'll remember how you made them feel. And that's very much what poetry does. It, it makes you feel something, whereas magic gives you a visual element that conveys an idea. So I think putting the two together really conveys something really strong and very, uh, very much complements one another uh, when you put them in that sort of context. People can find me online at mymagicmyway.com www.mymagicmyway.com uh, You can get me uh, through email there. I'm also on Facebook. Look up, uh, look me up. Uh, my name is Michael Matson. so if you just look up my name, I'll pop up on Facebook. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I'm Michael Matson for Conjurers of Composition. Look us up online. Hey, look at that. www.conjurersofcomposition.com uh, We're also on Twitter. www.twitter.com backslash magicpoets. Catch us soon. We're coming. <laughs>